On March 12th, PBA Rinker Athletics Campus, also known as The Rack, was no longer the place for student-athletes to practice and compete the best they can. The NCAA canceled all competitions for the rest of the spring semester due to the coronavirus. The Rack had never looked as empty before. Freshmen were not able to get experience in their college sports, and seniors missed the chance of finishing their career like every other senior athlete does. Shelby Groeneveld is one of those seniors. She explains how she dealt with the news on March 12th. When I found out that our season was canceled, it was definitely like a huge bummer. There was a lot of question marks in the air. Um, I just didn't know like what I was going to do. And my whole life um, has been like revolved around tennis. So for me, like not having a final ending was um, probably like the worst part for me about that day. Just like everyone else, Shelby went through a lockdown phase. Those months, the first few, there was just like, a lot of doubt and questions, I would say. Like, do I keep practicing? Do I keep working out? Um, like, to be in shape for season? Do I start looking for a job full time? Um, so I would just say, like, a lot of uncertainty. Not only the players, but also the coaches were facing a very different time. Coach Lee, who has been coaching at PBA for 15 years, explained that he had never experienced something like this before. It's very, very different because nobody's here. Uh, I still come in the office, um, you know, just getting the routine um, because we, we, I still continue to recruit and stay in touch with all the incoming players. But it's different, different walking around here. There's nobody um, around, um, no student athletes. Um, it looks very, very different and uh, looks very empty. The NCAA announced that all spring sport athletes will receive an additional season of eligibility to still compete the one semester they missed. Our coach said that I could get my scholarship back and have an additional year to play. Um, so for me, it was like an easy choice to keep playing um, just because I love the sport. I want to keep playing as long as possible. And if I'm healthy and um, I can do my master's here, then I was like, why not? Um, I know some people who actually all my other friends from different schools, they all chose to move on and get jobs. And now looking back, I'm like super grateful that I chose to keep playing. Where this was an easy choice for Shelby to make, and as she received her scholarship back like most student athletes, Pietro da Silva had to make a difficult decision when he heard the athletic department could not give him what he was hoping for. Courtney Lovely, uh, the assistant director, put kind of a hold on uh, hiring anybody new for PBA. And, um, and yeah, uh, that, that entails me uh, so I I am still the assistant coach however I'm not getting any scholarship so at the moment I'm volunteering all the hopes that in January um, everything goes back to no normal and I, I can get my the funds from the school ever since classes started Pietro has been putting all his free time and all his effort into the men's and women's tennis team however direct did not open the same time the face-to-face -face classes started on campus the bigger concern is for the health and safety of our student athletes. So we don't want to go too quick right away. And so we want to wait to see, and especially most of our student athletes are international. So we want to make sure that they go through the 14 day quarantine and, and not showing any symptom before we bring them all back safely. Three weeks in the fall semester, the student athletes were finally able to get back with their teams and play their sports again. All student athletes are required to wear masks and get their temperature checked before practice. I, I feel, um, you know, really bad for the, the player have to wear the mask and, and practice because it is restricting in breathing, you know, so uh, it, is, it is difficult in general. Um, however, that's the protocol and we want to comply with it so that we're able to be on the court and then being together practicing. As tennis is a social distance sport, the mask rule was no longer necessary when the tennis players are on the court. However, according to Coach Lee, this was still a challenge. It's difficult to, to have different guidelines for different team. Um, uh, overall, we see that student athlete a little bit too lax on you know, the, the, the mask wearing. And so that's why it's, it's a challenge part. Just make sure we know, understand that we still have to wear this. And it's just protection to everyone. Even though wearing masks are challenging, Shelby is grateful that she is able to practice with her team this semester. I think we are definitely at an advantage. I think it's more of um, not necessarily on the court because I think the skills that you have, you've played your whole life. And so if you have those skills, you're, you'll be able to come back pretty quickly in January. 
I think the advantage that we have is more just as a team connecting and we have students from all over the world and my teammates are from all over the world so being in the same place with them getting to know them better getting to um, like support them on and off the court I feel like that connection will show through when we're actually playing matches um, and we're like stronger as a team so I think that's really where our competitive advantage is. As of for now the future for many students is still uncertain. I think you know the, the moment's different uh, we gotta adjust we gotta make the most out of it. It is not sure yet if competition for division two athletes will start again this upcoming spring but if it is coach Lee will be ready. Our schedule is full of matches. Uh, we have team prepared coming down um, and um, I think we're ready to go. Even though there's reduction in the number of competition, uh, our, our schedule is full. My name is Rebecca Kaiservaert, reporting for The Beacon Today.